when the Apollo missions went to the moon, the dust was really sharp and fine grain because there's no atmosphere to round it out. And because the particles were sharp, they were wearing away at all the materials and causing spacesuit leaks, scratching visors. So my research is looking at the fundamentals of those particles and how they scratch things up. And so what I'm looking at is using custom scratch tips made from minerals that you would find on the moon. And with that, we can characterize what the damage might be. And that, that way you can select the materials to go back to the moon with what would work best for different spacecraft, robotics, astronauts, uh, spacesuits, and all the different equipment. Ideally, I'd like to work in the space industry with uh, human space flights, so looking at the either spacesuit development or the lunar lander, or working with crew operations and training future crews. But my ultimate goal would be to become an astronaut. I've never worn a real spacesuit before. I've, wear, I've worn a simulated surface suit. Uh, I spent four months in the Arctic at the Flashline Mars Arctic Research Station. Uh, it's located way up on, in Nunavut on Devon Island. And I was part of a 100-day Mars simulation. And during that, I went out on, I think it was like 46 EVAs or surface walks to do uh, field geology and biology. So I've had a lot of time in simulated spacesuits, but not a not any time yet, hopefully soon, in the real thing. One of the best parts about the research is that I've been able to connect with NASA, working with NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, um, getting funding from them from uh, GSRP, which is their graduate student research program. And because of that opportunity, I might be able to then go on and work with them on a similar project after graduating.